Hello YouTubers, it is Luke here or SSG Smegs, whatever one you prefer. And today I'm going to show you how to make something like this. Um, it's really easy to do. Well, I saw a lot of videos asking how it's done, but it's really simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I'm going to go into Modern Warfare 2, go into Private Match, and put it as a state. Put it as free for all, whatever you want, and. Uh, Unlimited time and score, make sure it's on hardcore and put health as normal just in case someone joins. I mean, you won't die from getting shot once. And then pick your gun. I'm going to use intervention and then uh, start up the game. Then you're going to want to go to where I am on the map, which is by the boathouse. And you want to go down the edge of the ramp and get the gun out you want. I'm going to use intervention. Then look into the deep blue. And then maneuver it so you can't actually see a lot of white, and then uh, do the action you want. Here I'm going to shoot and also reload. As soon as you've done that, just stop, stop recording, and then uh, go into your PC. Right, from your computer, you're going to go into Sony Vegas. For this, you're going to need Vegas, and it's fine. Hold on. Yeah, um, you're going to need to go into Vegas. You're going to need After Effects for this as well, but no other plugins. Then get in your clip that you want. As I used it up here, I'm going to like cut it down and render it out. For the video, I've already got one. Um, you're going to oh, you're going to make sure you want to um then pan crop it and get rid of the bars up the top and the bottom and also you're going to want to go to color corrector and add in studio RPG RGB to computer RGB that way it sort of it sort of makes the gun a little bit lighter but the dark even darker once you do that render it out but because I already have I'm not going to do it again so just click save and then you'll have it rendered um, then you're going to go to after effects and this is where this takes a while to load. Oh my god, I need to get comfy. Oh. oh my god, it's so hot. It's like 31 degrees, which is pretty hot for England. Um, right, once you're in After Effects, new comp. Do it for as long as your clip is. Mine's about two seconds because that's how long it is. And then import your file. I called it untitled. Oh, actually, it's called Untitled because I didn't give it a name. There we go drag and drop and there's the clip right now this is where trial and error happens a little bit so you're gonna select your clip go to effect phone again uh, color key and then cl uh, click little spitter and go to it as close as you can to the gun and then hit it and then um, you're gonna go up the tolerance a bit maybe to about do this on your one however however much it's needed feather it a little bit and then make make it a bit edge thin about 0.5 let's just have a look at that um, no 0.5 like I said or 1 So this is where you've got to get it to your liking. See, if if the gun starts to go really thin, then you can uh don't feather it as much, feather it just a little bit, um, and then just simply add, oh, select your clip, simply add in another color key, and then once again do that tolerance. And then thin those edges a little bit. Actually, I don't do that. Then feather that just a tad again, maybe one. And uh, that looks okay for now because we're going to get rid of the edges now. And uh, but you do have this, these uh, little pixels up there, and they will stay there forever. But if you quite simply just get your uh, Oh my god, you're masking, and then just make a simple mask without failing, that is. 
which I just completely did. Delete that. Alright, get your masking, and then see for me, masking just does not just, just doesn't work sometimes. It's really annoying. Alright, go up, go away, right. Get your masking tool. There we go, right. Now mask it. And then uh, you're going to hit M on your clip with mask and then go from add to subtract. That way it subtracts it. Now you don't want to create a second mask. Did that by mistake. Then go back to your pet, uh, arrow. Then uncheck the view mask because you don't really want to see that. And then we can just simply drag those up a bit. Okay, so so far all we've got is this. So we're going to want in to add in a background. So go to layer, new, solid. Use whatever colour you want. I'm going to make it white and then drag it to the bottom of the clip. But he can really clearly see these weird pixels and stuff and they're just in the way. So select your video and go to layer. Uh, no, effect, sorry. Choker. Or mat, sorry. And then go to simple choker. And then choke the mat by about one or two. And you'll be able to see, once again, it's down to personal pre preference. That looks okay. Apart from that line there, seems to have, seems to have disappeared a bit. That line there. So we can go back into the uh, the color key. Maybe put the tolerance down a bit to about say seven or six. Then on the second one, put it down a bit as well. Maybe to an eight. And then do the choker up a bit more. See now, that looks quite good actually. That looks okay. Just it's all down to personal preference. And uh, you want to click on your clip and then just drag it down a little bit so you can get rid of that bar at the bottom. Quite simple. But once again, those those lines have disappeared because of the uh, colour case. So all you got to do is just play around with it. And eventually, there you go. It's the thinning of the edge. That's what it was. So maybe not thin the edges as much. And uh, you'll have your clip. Nice and easy. You can uh, then composition add to render queue and then uh, for, for smaller ones for smaller video size just go into your output loss, uh, lossless and then change it to quicktime okay and then select where you want to save it and just hit save and then render it or you can you can play around with this and you can not do that you can uh, go composition settings layer settings sorry solid settings make it black and then this is that effect that sometimes you see, which is called find edges. If you put find edges onto the video, then it will make your gun look really cool. And maybe blend it just a tad with the original. And then you can go to effect, selecting your clip, effect, color correction, and then CC toner, and do the top one black bottom one black and then the middle one you can have that that turquoise which everyone seems to use because it does look does look good and then uh there you go you got that you got that effect going on now so it's nice and simple you can then render that out and that is it that is how you do bl blue screening or green screening in Modern Warfare 2 you can also do it by looking at the sky but I find this way to be easier and a lot quicker so thank you for watching could you please comment rate and subscribe favorite video as well if you need to it does help a lot uh, I've got more videos in the way I'm up gonna be uploading a link to some green screens from COD4 possibly Modern Warfare 2 if you need them if you don't have the game and that is all so I will see you next time goodbye failing with this bit here we, here we go goodbye